Did you just get shotgun farmers and you're constantly getting wrecked by sweaty nine-year-olds that taunt you about being with your mother? Are you tired of getting 360 no scope by some dude with a 10 gallon hat and teabagging over your dead body? Are you tired of being tired? Hi, Millie Bay's here and I'm here to introduce Flex Tape, even though that can't even fix your awful <laughs> gameplay. Howdy, I'm Drowning on Land and today we're going to teach you everything you need to know to start playing shotgun farmers. Let's get to it. This is the lobby screen. Here you can play the game, customize your character, see your stats, change the settings, and exit the game. I don't recommend doing that right now. When you click play, it will bring up some options. For this video, we're just going to focus on find match. This will automatically load you into an open game in any server you're in. Now that we're in a match, let's go over what we see on your screen. In the bottom left hand corner you will see two bars. The top one is your shields and the bottom one is your health. In the bottom right hand corner you will see three boxes. The top is your primary weapon, the one below it is your shovel, and the very bottom is your throwables. The default weapon you start with is the shotgun and your shovel. You can swap between the two with your scroll wheel or the numbers on your keypad. We're looking pretty good, but we don't have any shields. That means we're an easy target, so let's fix that with some milk, gamers. Oh, he needs God. some milk! Now you have 100 extra health and your character is pretty thick. If someone decided to not respect your personal distance and come in close for a hug, you have two options. One, you can melee them with your weapon by pressing R, or switch your shovel for extra damage. If you happen to be a sneaky little ninja, you can assassinate or one-shot your opponent by hitting them with your shovel from behind. Speaking of the shovel, you move significantly faster when you have your shovel equipped. Notice, with the shovel we are faster, lighter, and more mobile. But if I hold the Karakut Launcher or the Watermelon LMG, I am big, heavy, and slow, just like your mother. But there's more to this game than just shovels and plant guns. We have EXPLOSIVE FOOD! The first being the Mulatov. You can find this on the map by walking up to this nice purple cow drinking purple stuff and milking it to get this cool throwable. When you throw this bottle at an enemy or on the ground, it creates a large area of fire that burns anything, and I mean anything, around it for at least 6 seconds. Next is the Pineapponade. This cute little ball of death can be picked up from this bush and is instantly equipped. Clicking and holding the left mouse button will pull the pin and start a countdown. Throw it before... Well, that happens. You have about 3 seconds before it goes off. Little tip for both the Mulatov and the Pineapponade is to gently toss the explosive by right clicking. This is nice for when a sweaty player gets too close for comfort. And the last item really isn't an explosive, but something that can give you the edge over your opponents. The ghost pepper. This spicy pepper will set your mouth on fire and make you harder to see. Combine this with your shovel and smack someone from behind for that instant stealth kill. But explosives aren't the only pickups in this game. We touched on milk giving you shield, but there are two options. The small carton gives you about 50 shields, and the big one gives you 100. The other consumables you can pick up are the health shine. The bottle, which is small, is 25 health. And the jug, which is big, is 50 health. Let's quickly recap the throwables and consumables. The ghost pepper turns you almost invisible for roughly 15 seconds. Pineapponade, the grenade that you can ready and then throw or toss. And the Mulatov, burn all players in the fire for 6 seconds. Next, we have our milk, or our shields. The carton gives you 50 shields, while the gallon gives you 100. And next, we have health shine. The bottle, which is small, is 25 health, and the jug, which is big, is 50 health. And finally, the crop drop. 
shoot it out of the sky or blow up the box when it hits the ground for some loot. Inside the crop drop, you'll find a mixture of different weapons with full ammo and throwables. This is the only place where you can obtain the one and the only double cob. This hefty shotgun weapon has twice the power of your normal shotgun and can only replenish ammo by picking up other shotguns from the map. But to recap the crop drop, double cob only comes from the crop drop and the crop drop drops every two minutes. And if someone got the drop before you and snatched that thick, doubled cob, simply take them out. It's that easy. These are the most basic steps to get you on your way to becoming a legend on the battlefield. To get your victory royale. To become a winner winner, chicken dinner, and most importantly, become a shotgun farmer. So get practicing, go play some games. I'm Drowning on Land, I'll see you back on the farm. If you like what you saw, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you want to hang out with me and the MVP homies, head on over to Twitch and leave a follow. Then you'll be notified every single time I go live. Thank you. It's Bob Bay all day. Console, PC, even arcade. Even if I know you, you are not safe.